and then you know I can see if you're streaming. Okay, do that, do that then. Yeah. So go ahead, go live, and then I'll pull up the stream. I'm on live already. Cool. Yeah, I see you. You're good. You can see me? Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Talk. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Oh. I'll let if you hear me. Yeah. Yeah, what? Come on, sorry. Give me one second. Hello, chat. What's going on, chat? Chat quiet tonight. Yeah. You get to what? No, I'm not talking to you. Okay, yeah. I can hear both of us. You can hear both of us? Yeah. Um, try... Uh, no, never mind. I just try to, like, project my voice louder. How about me? How do I sound? I'm not really loud anyway, so... Uh... Speak again? I sound naturally loud anyway. Um, can you like bring my voice up a little bit more? Bring your voice up? Alright, try that. Speak. Is that good? Sounds the same to me. Stop, stop. You keep talking right, 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 right talk. Yeah, I sound good. You went to red. I'm going to lower a little bit. Try now. Okay. Again? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds better now. How about for me? I sound alright? Yes, you did. Is that better? Yeah. Is that best? Uh... Is that going to the eye doctor? How about now? What about this? <laughs> 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 yeah. ah. Okay. All right, let's do this, man. Yes. Oh yeah. New York time, baby. How's that look? Looks good. It's crooked. I thought it was crooked. Uh. He'd be fine. I see that. You're fucked up. You're not even the quick and shit. I can't fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get this going, bro. Like... Alright, so what I, what I want to show you, this is the uh, Summer Games Fest. So this is just like, um, you know, every pretty much like most studios that are coming up with games this year and a little bit next year. And, you know, I just want to see, uh, see uh, what you think of these trailers. Okay. I want to just uh, yeah, I All right. you. Uh, we can. Uh, I mean, I know you probably take some time to talk about some of these. Um, or like we could watch like probably like half of these. Um, I'm fine with whatever, bro. Just like this shit. Live, live. Let's make live on live. All right. Well, yo, bring your fucking haircut, man. Ready when you are. Ooh, long as my hair is even been. Let's fucking do this, Bruce. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? I think we just the intro. We are so thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube theater here in LA. Uh, now, if you're good. watching this show, first of all, oh, welcome. Bright. I know everyone around the world is joining He's us for a special a moment. Breath. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play <laughs> games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world over the next two hours. Here's our first announcement. 
Next. Uh, hey, look, this is a hot dog guy auditioning for the. Just to let you know, I hate Legos. And I hate anything why? to do with Legos. I've always hated Legos. I never liked Legos. Why, why do you hate Legos? I never liked Lego. When I was a kid, never liked it. And I hate anything that, like, like games it makes no sense to me when they have Lego games. Like, <laughs> I I love Legos. Um, had had a whole bunch of them growing up. I know I bought them for you, motherfucker. And I fucking <laughs> used to step on them all the time. And you killed myself seventeen thousand times, man. It sounds like a you problem, to be honest. I don't think so. I think a lot of people hate fucking Legos. Like it makes no fucking sense to me. I guess maybe because I wasn't creative in that sense of like sculpting shit, so I could never build anything. So. Uh huh. And then I guess when I've seen cartoons with Legos, it just makes no fucking sense. Like that Batman bullshit he came out with. <laughs> I can't do it. Anyway. Yeah. Um, ooh, the lead in unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh sure, I get that a lot. But uh, check out my range. Okay. Okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage. Empathy. Oh, hilarity. <laughs> this guy. I fucking can't. What's the next fucking one? I'm sorry, I can't do it. Only God can forgive you now. Fuck this. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I like this game. Like what? It's not even a game. This is uh, an oh. ad on YouTube. This looks interesting. He has a revolver. That means it takes place in the back phase. More zombie shit. I'm not a big fan of zombie stuff, man. Not for anything, are you? I guess I gotta get turned on to it, but I just don't. This doesn't excite me. Like he's not. Why are they all bald? <sighs> I won't be playing this game. Why not? You got eight player co-op. What the fuck does that even mean? I mean, you can play with eight people. Why would I want to do that? Well, why would you want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Like, I always want to play by myself. I mean, like, nah, it's really good fucking people. Like, I won't be able to keep track. It's really fucking people. Coming this Halloween okay. looks really, really intense. All right. To introduce our next intense, game, no. please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals, like Street Fighter VI a few years ago, and of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Curious Joy? I, I, I thought you were going to say Curious George. Thank you, Jeff. Oh. Hi everyone, I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. As young witches and wizards, we all dream of soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. Is Harry Potter? It sure fucking is. When it comes to Quidditch, Marvel loves wonder, this game. Do I have what it takes <laughs> to be the next Quidditch star? So this is all about Quidditch? I guess with a seeker and shit. To beat your toughest opponent? To keep your this composure in the face of adversity. The graphics look wet too. To chase your dreams at It's about time. style. It's art style. To seek glory for your team. Is that my style? No challenge is too great. What? No you said it's, it's a style? Yeah. So ask yourself. It's a horrible Do style. You have what it takes? Do you, maybe, you know? You like that? Not really. The graphics are horrible. <laughs> Listen, we're in the fucking future. I need people to catch up. 
whoever said yes to this game, like whoever was the project manager of this game. Uh, uh -huh. was that beeping sound, you heard that? No. That's Harry Potter Quidditch champions launching. Oh, World last time I said hello to the riches. Hello to you two riches. What's going on? Now I gotta, I gotta be Potter reading this chat, man. Right? What's up, chat? Yes, the you, you want to look over there for a, from time to time, you know. Gavin Eisenbeis up in Seattle, who has been making up, chat? All by himself for a chat, day. can you hear me? His last title, Put a Choo thumbs Choo up or something. Charles was a fan favorite, and he showed me this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to twenty of your friends. Twenty. In tough bust. What? What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, what the fuck got so What? Who made this game? Some pedophile made this game. Ah, come on. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. This looks interesting. How the fuck it does it, bro? You got- it's a jail. Right. You're a bunch of- I don't you know, know what the fuck to call these things. And it's, it's, in the, it's in the year 2069. This is a whack ass game. I, I, I think you just not seeing the potential. I don't know, there is no potential. This is a hard game. They're trying to break out of jail. Yeah. This is some American bullshit. Because <laughs> other countries will not let their kids play a game that's about breaking out of fucking jail. Straight up. <laughs> oh, the riches don't got a thumbs up. That's alright, riches. You know, I like your little fucking uh, dancing dragon. That's what's up. It's better. It's better than <laughs> looking at this bullshit game. You see this game, the riches? This is crazy. Wow. You just shot anybody? Hyundai Elantra oh versus Toyota God. Corolla. And don't Look buy what Elantra Hyundai. has, and what Corolla um, doesn't. I drive one. <laughs> is that <it> great? <laughs> Did you forget I drive one? I mean, you, you, you drive the sister brand of Hyundai. You know that, right? Person. Congratulations, right, I don't Gavin. Want my cars so glad to have that on stage. Let's not start. Let's not go there. All right. Next okay, one of this year's okay. most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws. Coming out uh, on gosh, August 30th. Nice. Right, you know Star Trek games? Lucasfilm I'm a Trekkie, bro. I like Star Trek. I like Star Wars. Game, where you live the life of a scoundrel. Don't get Star Trek Star Wars is better. Pacific, you'll get I think Star Wars is better. Full game Star Trek is way better, bro. During crazy? Ubisoft's forward event, streaming as part of the And then where's Star your game, huh? Trekkies Trek Trek don't where, have where is issues. Where's your game? Exclusive new glimpse Trek of Trekkies don't have issues like y'all Star Wars motherfuckers. Of what's to come. Because we, Disney didn't fuck our shit up. They didn't fuck their real shit. Fair enough. A friend needs a little something. These, these, are, these, are, these are graphics right here. I can fuck with these graphics, no real. So, basically, what I'm hearing is you're definitely play playing this game. game. I'll play yeah, you play this game? I'll play this game. Alright. Yeah. I'll play this game. You also gotta play, uh. Jedi Fallen Order. You gotta play that one too. Shut up, cool. Jedi Fallen Order. You guys speak it out because you're you speaking over this, this joint. And then lower it. How about lower it? Yeah, lower it, lower it on, the, on YouTube. Oh. Think I spotted Lando there. But then it won't capture. It's already low as it is, isn't it? No, that, that's not how it works. Alright, let's see how it works. I hit the, I hit the shit now, bro. Well, well now, now you muted it. You just said lower it. I, I said lower it, not mute it. Stuff that we're going to get to play in the next few months here. All right, well, moving back to smaller teams. A few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say, it is really spectacular. So he's a CEO who doesn't play games? The creators of the game no, he's just the host. He's the host of... Who, who's the host? Oh. Yeah, he's a, yes, this is an actual event. People are actually there. Is he known for something? Like, is he famous? I, I don't know. I don't know. What is this? 
I bet she's better than that fucking jail game. Oh, I like these graphics. It reminds me of like, the Apple games and shit. Apple has games like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple has the just the mad swiftly. That's how fast you want Yeah, Apple has games like this. I like games like this. This reminds me of... Is it Oris? Ori? Ori. Yeah, yeah. This reminds me of... That Ori. was a good game. You say what, babe? You might like this game, this new game. She back there playing her, her switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like this. I can fuck with this game. See, this this is a game. Like, this is like my kind of joint. I like game like this. I like I like oh, yeah? profile. Yeah. This is actually quite surprising. I did not think you liked this game. How dope this looks! This is phenomenal. I like this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game is dope. See, not that jail shit. Like, no. <laughs> not that jail shit. Never. I'm a. Oh, it's already out. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art. Especially when is it out? I don't know. There's tons of fun to play, and there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after the Day of the Devs on this same stream. You're writing this down, right? The one that's something that I'll play, right? It's time for our next game announcement. Uh, I guess I can write it down somewhere. My man, don't, no don't fuck this up. Write it down so I remember these games, bro. Study the past. You heard? Find yeah, yeah, yeah. All Thirsty. are architects of fate. Working in these walls of time. Let us all for death prepare. Or the last great journey there. Let me not then die. Ingloriously and without a struggle. <laughs> Are you brother throwing first back there? Let me first do some great thing. All right. Shall be told among men hereafter. Each of us shall endure this world's life until the end. So what is this game? This is a game? What the fuck is this movie? What is it? I can't tell. I don't know. They're taking too long. They, you showed me nothing. It's Civilization. It's a known game. You don't know it, but it's, it's a known game. Who is this motherfucker? On behalf of the Paraxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce that Civilization 7 is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment. Bro, blink so your eyes. I also have to thank you, our incredible team <laughs> around the world, for your shit. overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. We can't wait to share more, and we hope you'll join us later this summer for the full reveal of Civilization 7. In the meantime, Stay civilized. Did he blink at all? He blinked four times. I counted him. You counted? Yeah, he's, he's not a blinker. I think I have some dry ass eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Game science. This is just this little sperm at the top, so. That's a hairy ass foot. I think, wow. I think you'll like this one. Only if, like, you see how all this detail and stuff, as long, as long as that stays in the actual gameplay, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's when they go from the storyline shit and they go to gameplay and the graphics drop down significantly, I can't fucking drop. Now yeah, you need to do it like this if I'm playing it. Shut down. What, 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 what the fuck is he, a monkey? What is he? Yes. What the fuck is this animal watching? This kind of loops? No. What the fuck is this? What? That shit is waxy as fuck, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Black Wukong. Myth Wukong. Black Myth Wukong. 
Yeah. So he's a Chinese monkey. Pretty much. That's the or Japanese? Is it Japanese monkey? Or... Is it? I don't know. I know he's, he's Asian. He's an Asian monkey. Yabba dabba dooey. What? He sneezes. He blows up the nose. You hear that? No. Now I hear it. This is a uh, this is the uh, VR game. Okay, that makes more sense. The way it's 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 presenting itself. <laughs> and this is just matters VR. Yeah. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Yo, quiet, bro. Wherever we remain standing, we stand together. It did, it didn't impress me, but is I, that a I, flying airplane? I'm not sure what this game is supposed to do, but I don't think I'm gonna play that game. It that, I kind of sworn I saw like a dragon flapping with airplane yeah, engines. It's, you know, sometimes you try too hard to be so different that it just doesn't work. Yeah. And I think that was that. It didn't, it didn't excite me, no, either way, whether I hated it or liked it. I was very just numb to it. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you faced tyrannids before? Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. Is this part of Summerfest or is this a fucking commercial? What is this? Oh, it's part of the it's part of the summer game fest. That looks nice. So a lot of shit's coming out for winter time, which is to be expected because it's fourth quarter. All right, welcome right. back to Summer Game Fest. Oh, games. Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show. That's where companies release stuff. Companies go hard on releasing stuff on third and fourth quarter. That's where all phones come out third quarter. Because they can end the year on the stock market and a high note. Just Persona stop and go up because they have more and revenue five. coming in. Katsura Hashino and Shigatari hmm. Sojima. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. You skipped this, I think. Uh, chat, what, what game are you talking about? You're saying I'm going to play this game. Which game is that one? Uh, Archetype to you, Hokano game with you to go on the job with this subtitles they're gonna translate. Oh, well, you saw a skip it. Now we're gonna jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a oh, Batman 3 exclusive VR. Game. Oh, we're all very oh, different in this Batman game. You face it's only VR. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're all disappointed. Here's your first look at the story trailer. No, we need to play the actual the original Arkham series games too. Wow, look at this. Because it had um, yeah, Arkham Asylum, Ar Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Black Arkham Origins. Oh. Yes, chat, definitely. I'm gonna fuck with that uh, Asian monkey too. That Black Knight Wukong. That shit is dope. Oh yeah, I didn't put that on the list again then. Casting shadows of I forgot. On everything. Yo, so this looks this looks crazy, son. Like fear is their weapon. 
Uh, I guess Star Wars Outlaws too, right? You got the Oculus, don't you? Yes, I do. I got the the second one. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. Will you be able to play this on it? Yeah. Do I really want to play it? Not really. Right? I like this game. I like that. I would. You would probably just be. You need a, like that floor pad, don't you? Like, you'll be fucking like walking outside. Like. That'd be cool to get. Okay, chat. Chat, chat is suggesting that the richest there's gameplay footage the for Earth the Wukong now, out. You should it watch it. Fans on a legendary I'll do that, chat. No doubt. And that yeah, we should do that. We should take a look at it at the end. Ever since one of its first iteration, and have been playing each one ever since. So let's check it out. So we should play Arkham Shadow. Yeah. Put that on now. Going on. Street Fighter Six. Terry. Is this a fighting game? It's Street Fighter. They're adding more characters. But I hope I got this cra I don't like this cartoon look. I hate this cartoon look. No, is this for uh trailer purposes? I oh, love Street Fighter, man. Fighting games is number one for me. Yo, we gotta play more combat. I wish you were playing Mortal Kombat right now, I should be kicking your ass right now, bro. <laughs> Let's do that shit, bro. Wanna do that? Cause how long this shit's gonna be? Yo, chat, what do you think? Should we be playing Mortal Kombat right now? This is two hours long, bro. I don't even know if my Street Fighter is updated. I'm in Mortal Kombat. What is this? See, this could have been good. Look how bullshit the graphics look. Wait, who selects the style? Says Some it's people like it. Huh? Some people like it. You know, not it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I, there is I, still a market for it. Why? It looks horrible. Yeah, this is a horrible looking game. Not gonna lie, it looks like a mobile game. Yeah, it does look like a mobile game. <laughs> and uh, maybe it's my screen, I'm not sure, but the, the gameplay looks... doesn't look fluid, it looks weird. Maybe it's my old ass eyes. I don't know. It says gameplay is only 13 minutes. Yeah, what does that mean? The gameplay is only 13 minutes. I think it. I think it means for uh, Black Myth Wukong is a is a gameplay that's 13 minutes long. I think he means it's nothing but storyline. <laughs> gameplay for 13 minutes. <laughs> you got six days of storyline and 13 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> nah, I won't be playing this way. Really? Not this one either? Nah. You see, you see, you love fighting games. This is a fighting game. I know it's a fighting game. I know. No. So, what, what, what's a no about it for you? Well, I don't know what the fuck this is. It's a Dragon Ball. 
Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. So, this motherfucker got pointing ears. This little kid is bald. He's not a kid, that's an adult. Then, yeah. They bite on the street fighter. Look at these books. Look at this fucking game. So I'm sorry these games be looking mad good to play, to be honest with you. This looks nothing like good to play. But this has mad... This has really graphics. This has way better graphics. Way better? <laughs> Skip it See, if, if the other... No. No, no, no. If, the, if they made the other one, the, that, that middle... middle Like, medieval time shit look like this... I would play it. But they didn't. They made it like shit. <laughs> Look at dude just powered up with his sword. I got fire at shit. This fire. looks worse than the other game. No, the fuck is not. This is dope. No, this is better doesn't. than the medieval game. Look how, how no, it looks. This looks. <laughs> no. Yes, it does. This looks, this looks better than the medieval game. No, it does not. Yes, the fuck it does. No, it you doesn't. Crazy. This looks nothing. There's nothing better about this game. What? Look at the, the game plan. It's smooth. It's fluid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. Put this game down. Be a hero. No, I'm this... not putting this game down. Oh, you got game buyers? You buy some of this game? Probably what? Just... No. This you're is... ga... no. You're... Yeah, you're, you're a gamist. That means you're a racist. You're a gamist. Oh. Wow. A, game... a gamist? A gamist is a racist. No. You're a gamist. It makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. You don't like this game. You're a gamist. Wow, I gotta do you after the day. You're a gamist. Wow. Look at that. Dragon Think balls. about time. I got some dragon ass balls. <laughs> more, more oh my there. god. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here. There you go, internet. We got your. Says, skip it. This is an ad. I know it's an ad. I like the game better than this show on the summer first time. This should have the ad or something. He knew. He knew it was an ad. I know it's an ad, chat, but I like it. Rally up. We've got a new mission: Operation Lightning Strike. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The conflict's escalating between Havoc Corps and Alsara Guard. It's time to take action. What do you want? Collective decode the Mandelbrook, located at the tourist center at the southeast. I play anything. We're doing um reviews on games, summer fest. Yeah, they see that whole shit in the background, everything. Look like someone beat us to it. We need live right now, fool. You got yo send my send my live to your friends and shit. I love you here, Afro Puff. Like a fuzzy ass Cheeto. What? Yeah, tell Naya and them get on the joint right now, yo. And your boyfriend too, tell Light Scan. I love the shooting game, so American. So American? Bro, around the world, I don't play games like this. Why is he aiming sideways? There's like you're nothing. Okay, he's from the hood, that's why. <laughs> oh my god. He's from the hood. That's how we're doing it, bro. Yo, princess, I'm gonna send you my joint. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Blackhawk Down, is my screen. Imagining of the original game, Dude, is also right fully now. licensed to recreate. I know, right? So, what if he can? Scott movie. We have a uh, boost tracks downstairs. Look at that gameplay. Okay, Yo, I just send it to you. Another American game. Huh? I got the chat up right now. I'm talking to my chat. I got one. His name is the richest. Well, <laughs> more like the poorest. <laughs> this is uh, Black Hawk Down, I think. This is Black Hawk Down. That's right. Hey, uh, the richest monster is just to wait for a chair. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be looking for a chair for it, bro. <laughs> I missed this whole fucking game. <laughs> your name is Curious Joint, yo. She took your name. Her name is Curious Ho. What's her name? Curious, curious Joy. Curious Joy. Yeah, he was Curious Maya back in the day. Who is that? Yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> yum, yum, Mr. yummy. yummy yum. Who's Mr. Yummy? I don't know. Yo, Mr. Yummy. What's up? What's going on, Mr. Yum, yummy? It's my, <laughs> and my say that's the gayest name she's ever heard. This family's out of control. <laughs> What's up, chat? We got Checkpoint. We got the richest. We got Mr. Yummy Yum. 24, what up? You look mad hungry, bro. What is this? Man, you can't fuck. White children are scary, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't say that? Why not? But they, they use it. You know, but they use them in horror movies. Facts. Say facts. The what? what the what tees? The, the, the white tees? That's racist. European? It sounds like European in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what are we watching now? Which this is what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Rev it up. Fatal Fury. City of the Wolves. That's like, you know how they have B movies? That was the B game. <laughs> yeah, it sounds accurate. Mr. Yum Yum uh, 24. Yum Yum, uh, Mr. Yum Yum 24. Where you from? Where you be at, Mr. Yum Yum? <laughs> it don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> you say Yum Yum sauce. <laughs> There's another ad? What is this? Yeah, it's another baked in ad. Yo, this is kind of like, you know. This is this another game? Yes, yeah, another game. Okay. It's not an ad. But okay, so this game, I actually like this. I like the way it looks. I need more cinematics than natural gameplay. I hope, I hope it looks like this. If it looks like this, I'll, I'll, I'll play this, right? I'm like this. Ma, can you put like some like colorful lights back in the background? Oh, did you? You turn your peoples right now? So here's what it looks like. Ah, they got me. They got yeah, me. Yeah, they got you. They got this shit like fucking old school Zelda. They got me. <laughs> so would you play this? Nah. You got to now. I I'm putting it down. I, no. I'm it down. No. Yes. No. Um, Battle Crush, June 27th. <laughs> like, I got you. It's only on Switch. I don't have a Switch. Perfect. You do got a Switch. I don't have a Switch. You do got a switch. There's a switch what is there. this? This is this. Oh, is this Gundam? No, this is not Gundam. Unfortunately. What is this then? Is this Pacific Rim? I wish it was. That would that would be better actually. A Pacific Rim game. It would, right? Oh man, that would have been awesome. Like the background, bro. Like that. That's cool. I can barely see your face. You can't see my face from Ripple. Well, this is dark. Right now. It's a little better. A little better? Yeah, it's better. It's better. It's good. You're good. Just said, bring your head up a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah, it's good. 
This is Mecha Break. Uh, how was I even paying attention? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention either. Really. I need to, you know what? Uh, we, should, we should be drinking during these times. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years. Like hey, chat, which was your favorite game? Which game did you suggest I play, chat? Now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a. Uh... This is a scary game. So I never, I never got into that because that thing wasn't existing when I was around. With the scary game type of thing? Is it really scary? Um, it can. Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. Oh, that's that scary right there. That game right there is <laughs> scary. <laughs> The, so this one is. I'm not gonna play no fucking. They're, no, they're showing game. like three different games at one time. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. No, that is the game, bro. Yeah, it's it's three different games. I am I'm not gonna sleep. play no pick like the pixel pixel later game. Death to stay awake. These games are hard now. Yeah, how pixelated it is, bro? This is like Minecraft. I'm not playing that bullshit. <laughs> Oh, this dude says Cyberpunk and play Outlast. Oh, Outlast. The local police department he should he should play Outlast. And Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. I do want to put Cyberpunk down because I got Cyberpunk wallpaper. But um, yeah. You should watch the show too. You should watch it. Well, it's time to find a new apartment on Zillow. Huh. These are all great, and this one's close to mom. I can finally go to Sunday dinner. Oh, that's better lighting, right? Or maybe we could yeah, you skip it now. Oh. Uh. <laughs> come on, you're still on top of this. Come on. I'm still on the start. Oh no, we we'll have to talk in a second. We're working at this very minute. On the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's, it's coming. Don't worry. Anyway, horror is, uh, to my great relief, getting more and more popular. I hear them in the background. Oh, you did? It's working on oh, streaming, it's working in live events. You did a bunch of shit. We wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage El, them. L Scrubber. What does that mean? Weird and subversive and find the most effed up. L, L Scrubber. And, and put them into really cool. Games. What does that mean? <laughs> hey, chat, what does that mean? L Scrubber. Is that a game? Really diverse, cool slate. Uh, no, that's not a game. Uh, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate. Our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're. She horrifies me. <laughs> she hor <laughs> How does she horrify you? Oh, uh, look at him. Maybe Jeff, you just she gets shot at me. Murder and your otherwise very cozy farming sim. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many uh, subgenres. Skip this part, come on. And our independent development partners, they feel the same and they're just. Well, she is, she is. She's, she's an artist and she knows horror. She should be a freaking supernatural horror graphic designer. Retro arcade, okay? Let's see what he's got. We're back to the arcade right here, right? Back to the arcade, folks. Let's go. Go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning with me because I got to start from scratch again. This is um, Power Rangers. You can definitely have my best map in that What? Who's this? I like, see? I like the way this looks so far. This reminds me of that, again, the Apple uh, game shit that we have. What Apple game are you talking about? There's a bunch of Apple games looking like this, bro. Yeah, yeah, this is dope. I like this. See, I like this style. I'll play the show day. This is like the style of Ori type shit, bro. Look at this. I can fucking like 2D. This. this is this is 2D. This looks great. Look at the way it looks.
My man just. Yeah, we're we're those reindeer. What the fuck, you guys? I, I you're just walking. Yeah, but you're discovering. See, you discover something. The hell is that? Don't know. Got to play it. Put this down, bro. Is reindeer getting oh, big? It, it got bigger. Yeah. See. That's dope. It's growing with them, bro. Come on. It was oh same thing God. with Neva. Oh, yeah, look at that, 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 that boar. That was a motherfucker that was stewing. Yeah, that was a motherfucker that was stewing earlier. Oh, hold on, come on, man. His antlers are glowing. Ooh, yeah, put this down. Deer and Deer boy, boy, okay. What a name. That's like so... Wow. That's Deer. what it is. I I got mixed feelings about this. Which comes from first-time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020. Let's see. What, what kind of sneeze was that? Helping him realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that, or why we do this show. Yo, put that down, DM boy. Developers a chance to show down. they're working on. All right. Next. Oh, Richards, I like DM boy. I know I like the, I like DM boy too. Richards, like I'm gonna play that game, yo. This is a first-person open-world action RPG from Warhorse. I like that style. That is a brand new look. What the fuck game is this? Oh, this is an ad. <laughs> <laughs> you skip it now. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes. God disposes. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> These two young fellas, I need to find them. One's a smart ass smith. And the other's a blue blooded fledgling. You behave like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? <laughs> Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh wow! They're putting religious shit in games. What? He's just, always on that. Fucking her? I didn't see it. Yo, in the game, he was just smashing this chick. I missed it. I'm a, hold on. But don't go back. I don't, I don't necessarily need to see it. You went back to the whole beginning. We all face your judgment for what we should have done. But lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! God, is this retribution for my sins? I guess I passed it. He was smashing the shit, yo. Huh? Yo, put this game down. <laughs> really? This yeah. one? Yeah. Good. They they got something going on here. I I don't think so, to be honest. I think so. Yeah. All right. What is this called? And, and, King, it's, a, and it's a two. Kingdom the Kingdom Come Deliverance two. Yeah. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchu Toyama-san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo-based studio. Jesus Christ, the detail. Amazing. I know, right? Is that a body? Is that a head? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this must be like a detective joint. Oh, no, yeah. No, I'll fuck with this. There actually is another game like this. That's like detective work. Mm-hmm. Would you want to play that? Yeah, I'll fuck with it. Oh, hold on. This possession? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. 
Just take a weird turn. Yeah. So is is zombie esque. You get bitten by the fucking animal, you become an animal. It's a no for me, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's begging me to say yes, but then like, it's just a no. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Slither, Slitterhead? What is this? Is that an ass or arms and legs? What is that? Uh, it looks like a bean. I said an ass cheek. <laughs> That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm No, don't skip it. No, no, go back. Go go back. Nope. Nope. Go go back. Nope, I'm going back. Glad you like that one. That was killer. Go back. What? You play this garbage? Yeah, you should. No, I'm not playing this. Yes, you are. I'm putting on a list. No, you're not playing this shit. I'm not playing it. Hey, it's on the list. Not, I, don't care, I don't care what fucking list you put on. It's not, I'm not playing it. It's on the list. It means you gotta commit. No. Yeah. Too late. It's on the list. Chat, should I play this game? If yeah. Chat doesn't answer. Yes. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna play this game. Make them pay for it. No, chat. No, you're stupid. You can't play <laughs> You're stupid. Maximus, like you can't that do that shit. Do what are you talking about? Like shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu. You, you, you should, you should play it. Yeah, you should play it. He's like the Matrix Reloaded. Um, so fun. It's what is that sound? Is that my headphones? All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent. Think my headphones are dying. France, Audrey Le Prince, and Emmerich Taw. Hello, That's Jeff, weird. everyone. I'm very happy to be here. 936. In our studio, Emmerick and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something Damn, she's new. Tall as fuck. So after Fury <laughs> and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Cairn, a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad... He's trying to be cool. He ain't working, bro. Two, but half of his team... Uh, he ain't doing it. And I've always wondered why do alpha He's mad he has the next to her as well. Such extreme conditions. And she's wearing white, she's sorry, she's making sure she's saying like, she's showing that she's sore shit. Karen, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Your limits. You climb a mountain yeah, how, how to a bell bottom, bro. before. And the climbing gameplay is Oh they're French? Oh we it's mean. very intense and realistic. It's a face off between you and the mountain. The mountain. And what you're going to and see the trailer is not complex. <laughs> oh my god. Actual climbing gameplay. Oh, I remember so this. Is they're making this? It's not quite a croissant. It's quite a croissant. Oh my god! Stop! Stop! What game is this, bro? It's a uh, it's a climbing game. No, what's on the What style of graphics is this? Uh, I don't know. Looks but like this it's is it, though. part drawing, like... Yeah. <sighs> I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it. That looks look kind of creepy. Yeah, you didn't put a lot of work in the face. Yeah. What was that one movie? Uh, uh, when they had to cut the rope? Yeah, it's an old movie. That's why I actually, I actually watched that shit a lot with you guys. 
Um, yeah. Where's the old school moment? Shit. Uh. That part is decent. I was like, no. like. Bless you. Kanishua. No. I, I like the fact they try something totally different, but. She uh screams a lot. I was to say that, yeah. Karen? Is what it says? <laughs> uh, no. Not it. Nah. Say it. No. I give them an A for trying. It's different. I'm not meant to be here. So you're supposed to be I'm a fighter. I'm oh, meant to be in the arena. Oh, really? Combat. The arena. But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Running a tea shop. So what does yeah, some more water, yeah. Well, there's a lot of more water. And I've had to get used to the So she supposed to be in the arena, she's just here. planting shit now. None of these tasks are all that hard. They just take So she became a bonus? And I'm not really the patient type. But I'm surviving. Of course I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. And once that's done. I'll usually check well, he's just, uh, the guy who owns the shop. Some slices to see of cheese. if my help is needed anywhere. And when all the chores are done, sometimes I'll just sit on a bench and do absolutely nothing. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. I don't know, is it, is it? And what's weird is that I actually feel good. I should have crackled. I'm happy. I can stop running now. Yeah, I sound happy. I can stop. I can stop. I can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. She lying to herself. I'm happy. She is not happy. Talk to her. I'm good. <laughs> no. That was Wonderstop, the announcement of the next game from Davey Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming, as you would expect from him and Ivy Road. Cannot wait to play that. All right, now here's a look at the story trailer for Unknown Nine Awakening, a narrative action adventure Wait, game that the story of Haruna, a young your woman born with the ability to venture into the fold. A you need to charge my other controller, my white joint. Turn your thoughts inward and focus on your shade. Do you feel it? I do. I it's over here. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They call themselves the Sahin. The Sahin. Among them were chosen and shielded from death. The Unknown Nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Nine. It's time we took control of our. We got on chat with y'all too. Actually, sister, which has my fresh sheet on. Why are you so interested in Vincent? Anyhow, he killed someone I loved. Remember stepping, find your target, and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. <laughs> You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm uh, It doesn't do nothing for me. Nice. I thought it was. I thought it would, but it doesn't do nothing for me. You like this? Yeah. Thing? No, I don't. I thought it was going to go like the gods and Egyptian Before style and shit, but it, it went a different direction. It seems kind of lackluster, to be honest. Why does she have my controller for? Something that I want to protect. Now steal your heart. Adventure starts. Eighty-seven percent off. Jesus Christ! They're trying to get rid of these games. Sixty-seven <laughs> percent <67% laughs> off. <laughs> This. They're trying. They're trying to sell games, weren't they? 
That's where I give them away. Dang, it's selling 80% off. <laughs> Where's this? This looks good. Watch the gameplay be some top view. <laughs> Picture this shit. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> That'd be some bullshit, to be honest. Yeah, for real. How good this looks right now. See, from our perspective, you gotta, you gotta understand. Let me pause this real quick. Would you I guess it's like Renaissance feel from it. Would you have to understand from our perspective is that this chat, back in the day, they would do this shit, right? They were fucking, um... They were fucking, um... Girl, I can't get a plate? My cheese? Jesus Christ. I know, come right here. Um, why is cheese so thick? Um, what? What? I'm talking about my cheese. Cheese? Yeah, let's see. Is this this would give me some cheese this now? She cut it mad thick. Like, <laughs> why you give me some thick ass cheese? <laughs> anyway, chat. So back in the day, we would have storylines like this too. And they were like super good. And then the gameplay will like shit. So that's why I'm a hype on these fucking storylines. I want to skip every storyline possible. Back in the day, I would not read a storyline at all. I couldn't even tell you about the game. Except for I finished it, I beat it. That was about it. But I wouldn't know names of shit. Like, I, yeah, I wouldn't know nothing about another game. It's like, the Zelda, like Zelda, I never read nothing about it. Hey, babe, back in the day, you read all the Zelda storyline stuff during the game? Yeah, she's a fucking geek. So, she, yeah, she did that. You did well, yeah. I bought the books of Chico's too. The Nintendo shit, I just should know it to my house. But yeah, I never would fucking read the storyline. I thought that was dumb, wasting my time. Hmm. Well, you gotta play. You gotta look through the story now. Just give it a more. You know what? We're gonna develop our own game, and we're gonna have a skip Google storyline. That's fun. There's plenty like that. Yo, you got clean that kitchen already? It takes me some normal cheese, like. Oh, come on. There was a. <laughs> an ad in the middle of the good part? Discover the Genesis. Do we know it's good yet? This is not a gameplay. Yo, why isn't that same? It looks the same. I'm trying to give me a fucking knife. She didn't cut shit. What the fuck did you cut? You didn't cut nothing, nigga. You're doing the wrong fucking knife. This is steak knife. No, because cheese is steak knives. So, would you play this game or no? <laughs> you're spinning my food. Here live for more summer game fest, the first descendant. That's how I go to restaurants. Five is a next gen looter shooter. Oh, yeah, dynamic cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook. Should I serve you some bullshit? I'll be back for number two. Release, and we're very happy here to debut the huh? new trailer and the reveal. He says true. The release date. How is that different? This game is this. This is great. She fucked my cheese. Is that my cheese? This is it. <laughs> Get, just, stop talking about cheese. Just give me the fucking cheese, bro. Just stop. What are you still on the cheese for? My man, because I'm hungry, bro. Just eat the cheese. It's mad thick, bro. Don't listen to your mother either. Don't not spit in my cheese. Do not lick my cheese. <laughs> Who's gonna spit in your cheese? My sister. <laughs> She cut the shit mad thick, bro. Like, what the fuck? And then she, you, you use a steak knife? She cut the cheese? 
stuck yeah, playing the with cheese and he's eating. He's eating the damn cheese. Get off the cheese, man. You can take, yo, take this, yo. I had a twitch. Oh my god, can you like look at the monitor? You look you everywhere else besides the front of you. I got two screens. I can see I can see the gameplay bro. Uh-huh, sure. But I seen this already in the beginning. Dude, that's, that's actually an ad before we even started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to play this game. You wrote it down? Yeah, this is what we're this is what we were trying to play earlier. Oh, this is the first shot? Mm. You, you, this is the game you just downloaded. I'll play it again. This cheese is good. Is that like seriously sharp cheese? Oh, yeah? Yeah. They yeah, have extra sharp, you know, sharp. They have seriously sharp. Seriously sharp? And this is some good awesome. cheese. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. With oh, it just came up. Yes, you, I just told you, you downloaded it already. You literally spent like 20 minutes downloading it like an hour ago. She's a gamer? I have no idea who these people are. What the fuck is he wearing? I have no idea. Oh, he's a CEO, so CEO is always awkward. Yeah, no style. Let us be on this stage, like no chaperones. Like I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, you you like, think they'll let us do that? Among us two, among us three, four. Oh, all right. Well, turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, there's been so many great indie games in recent years, oh, but it's awesome. also been a sec no secret that it's kind of a rough time in the industry. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play them, which was the real plan. I I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited it looks like he and incredibly, back. incredibly <laughs> nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff. It looks like she put him in a friend zone. A ton of world premieres. Enjoy. <laughs> You're my brother. <laughs> You're like your brother to me. <laughs> yeah. I can never. Honestly, honestly, if you get friend zone, you can no longer be friend with that person anymore. Oh, no, never. No. Fuck no. <laughs> you can no longer be friends with that person. No, no. Okay, Fred. Time to find our. Ah, oh, god damn it. Don't worry. Change will be good. Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, Battle Suit Aces. We are Studio Any Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action roguelike, where you'll have to customize the monster your starfighter, take on merciless armadas, and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do well, have a rogue one clip? game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Echo, creative director of Outerloop Games, My man. makers of Thirsty Suitors, and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Fight off corpo, cool. discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Nah. Project Dosa is a cool. game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. He looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> My man would be impressed. Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those.
those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> oh, that's Sounds like you did. Yes, there's going to be an Among Us TV show. Yeah, how, how is that going to work? <laughs> yeah, I think we're working with it. So, I don't consider cartoons to be TV shows. They're fucking cartoons. I thought, if you tell me a TV show, real fucking people. Yo. Am I right or am I right? Uh, you're wrong. What? It's a cartoon. I mean... A cartoon is this a type of TV show? Nah, not gonna give it to one cartoon. So, so. Cartoon, cartoon, TV show, TV show. Yeah, I just think you ain't too technical. Yeah, I won't be watching this. You should watch it. No, I'm not watching it. No, you should watch it. Word. No, I'm not watching. I don't know what the fuck Among Us is. I know I tell the kids don't play it. Did we ban the kids? They stop playing. They stop playing it. Huh? We'll give it to the kids. They can't play. A definitive greatest Roblox. collection of 3D and 2D. They can't play Roblox. Yeah, because the map pedophile on there, bro. It's time for yeah, I know. Shadows' brand new powers chat room. and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. I agree with that. So we play this one? No. I'm not a big Sonic fan. I've never been a big Sega fan. No, you, you did mention that a couple times. I was not a Sega fan at all. I could, I could have gotten it. I never got. I, I had every single um, console except for Sega. That I didn't want. And I, I didn't thought. Know. I thought she. I thought she. I thought she ended up getting one anyway. My mom? No, no. No, she did actually. No, she did. I got rid of it. I bitched about it. Okay. Yeah. Can you, yeah. <laughs> She did, I bitch about it. I didn't get doing wrong. I'm never playing it. You, you did not care about. <laughs> so, why, why didn't you Mario. care about it? I was hardcore Mario, man. I thought oh. Sega was like. Oh. I was hardcore Mario or hardcore Nintendo. And then Sega was a competition, so it was like, you know, Apple Android type shit. Sega, see? <laughs> so ah, it was like. Okay. The year of <laughs> um, now they had exciting stuff. All right. They had some different games, but I, I never I never liking them, you know what I'm saying? It was just like decision that unleashed a chain of events. But then I would buy mm. Trouble Number 16. I would get Neo Geo. Let's find out. No, what that is. The only piece I find is a future. Okay. Okay. Listen, they got the whole cinematography down, man. What game is this? Paul Atreides was never born. Oh, this is Dune. I created the future. Until it created me. But I see a narrow way. A path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders? And given birth to a girl, everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal, a world where my father lives, House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen, Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange, a war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen exterminated. No, Muad'Dib. 
No, Lizan al Gaib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror. Except for this one. This one leads to you. Okay. I don't know. I don't like when you do epic movies into games because the gameplay always sucks. Another new game from a brand new development studio. Yeah, I I agree with that. Animations. Animation is good, but what about the gameplay though? Uh, I just see a bunch of shit blowing up. It's like everything just being shot down. And, yeah. There's fucking chairs and continents, bro. Get a new chair. Battle Lace is that that didn't show any gameplay at all. I know. Oh, okay, never mind. Thanks, <laughs> Jeff. So, Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. We really want to bring the core uh, to, you. to everybody, kind of like how games. It looks good though. It's obvious. Yeah. MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. So, Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. We want to bring this type of very specific RTS fun to players in two major ways. Reminds me of uh, Command and Conquer. Mm, yeah, yeah, you're right. Out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what makes unit decks very cool is not only will players be able to define the I bet there are some people who don't know Command and Conquer. <laughs> but also players will yeah. be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Yeah. Second, we want to nah. eliminate the tedious clicks required to play in our our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, the finals, with its unparalleled destruction wrapped in the world's most deadly game show. Now, after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season starting next week on June 13th. Sharpen your katanas and welcome to season three of the finals. If they hit that reset button, it can take us anywhere. I have to be <laughs> TMI, dude. <laughs> you don't even say that. Huh? What you say? You don't even be saying that over stream. Why not? Why not? Just don't. It's like an aggressive fruit ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on, Ray Ban, you fucking with me, man. The finals. Yeah, it's the finals. To get it's already out. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a... That crowd seems like they're bored as fuck. If I do say so myself. <laughs> these trailers are... I'm not really too impressed with these trailers, to be honest. Oh, God. Bro, at least they got his prom shirt on. I think that's enough. Thank you. Now, you, you should play Alan Wake too. This is now the only way 
You should play Alan Wake 2. To tell you something Alan exciting. Wake. News about Alan 2, Wake. yeah. Many of you have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2 so far digital only sadly missing well we are excited to announce physical deluxe editions and physical collector's editions for Alan Wake 2 coming this fall you can lock in your copy starting tomorrow next we promised you some expansion content for Alan Wake 2, right? I'm thrilled to introduce you all to Night Springs. It contains three episodes with three familiar fan favorite playable characters in mysterious, terrifying, and quirky what if scenarios. It was a chance for us to really go out there, as if we already did it. Night Springs will be playable in less than 24 hours tomorrow. Thank you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Bless you. Night Springs. Bless you. Night Springs. A special place. A shifting space. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, always familiar to us. In Night Springs. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. And I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Sean, I'm really happy. This is gonna get strange. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Something was different. Is this gameplay or is this a show? It's game. It's gameplay. So what do you mean by three episodes? Coffee. They're DLCs. Well, I can't, I don't know what that means. Wait, is that, that's a real it's one? downloadable content. It's it's just like a, a mini campaign side story. That's a hard pass for me. Okay. I agree. That's right. New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player. Energy, bro. Play co-op and use cross-play as well. It's just too much. If you're watching SGF on it's too much. Live right now, well, how far do we, how much do we have left? In the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok. I mean, we got like, we got like another, yeah, we got like 30 minutes. Fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago. But there's more. A sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Why 
do people choose to sleep? It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. Chat went quiet, bro. Huh? So the chat went quiet. quiet. Nobody wants to play this game. <laughs> Are you a hot sleeper? What? Do you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night overheated and More dead shit to kill. <laughs> I think this is an oxymoron, right? More dead shit to kill. <laughs> nah, that didn't really make any sense, did it? Because you know, usually dead shit is uh, is already dead. Obviously, we still gotta kill it. <laughs> we I mean, you can kill a bear, that's, that's alive. They're confused. They had edibles when they were making this one. <laughs> yeah, that's when they were making that. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way to play, make a game. I, 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 would, I would say so. Okay. Wow, okay. Look at the sperm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at like a what? The sperm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm here right, just buddy. lurking. You lurking? <laughs> the rich is lurking. You're creepy, bro. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that one? Uh, I got. I guess see more gameplay. I gotta see more gameplay. Yeah. Right now, it's leaning more towards the no. To be honest, but um, I'll give it the benefit. Uh, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I just thought of graphics. On uh, this one or, or the last one? This one. This one? I like this one. It's a co-op, so we play seventeen people. <laughs> Maybe. What happened? Huh? I got one, two, three. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really questioning if the crowd knows what they're clapping for. Uh, the clapping that was over. Listen, they were clapping for. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is this a bunch of stuffed animals? Ah, I can't. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at M Corp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. My wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks. Because of what you're saying what? about what M Corp's doing to the town all those long. <laughs> mm. Everyone in M Corp is I, I doubt that guy's married. Stop crying! Alright? This is business. 
Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues. Come on, pal. Bah! <laughs> what the fuck does that? Bah! <laughs> That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. <laughs> we love it here in Edmonton. And we <laughs> as far as father. going anywhere. It's always something you'll be, you be, you, you will fire me. That's what you exactly would do. Uh, it will not be a hard decision. I will, I will say that. You say it won't be a hard decision? <laughs> no, it won't be a it hard decision. Wow. Checkers. I'm 21 and I owe it all to the farmer's dog. The game is this. You look like this. You look like this fucking dog. Look like a fucking dog. You look like this fucking dog. Yeah. You look like that motherfucker. Pound dweller. A pound dweller. Look at you. He skipped his ad already. Yeah. I wish I could. I'm not skipping his ad. As the best thing since we were watching the To be honest. Is it, is the best thing I saw in the last like 15 minutes. Yeah, for real. <laughs> if she wasn't feeling good, you could just tell that something was wrong. Oh man. Right. She still don't look good. Fuck it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and just laid in her bed. She, was she needs to go back to doggy jail. Uh, the riches is, is lurking still. I know. She steadily went downhill. It was hard to watch. Every day I thought, is this going to be the day? When we saw the farmer's dog, I thought, why not? We've tried everything else. And I immediately called. What is this? What, what is this even about? <laughs> I don't know. I guess about. <laughs> he said dog face. Yes. Dog face. This guy's breath got to stink. Because <laughs> he let the jacket turn to swing. <laughs> hey, Jeff. How you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. What? What even is this? I don't. I don't know what this. Now it's a skateboarding joint. Uh, now it's skateboarding. I can't find my fucking cursor. There we go. Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. That's right, I'm talking about Pow World. I mean, Pow World, man. Pow, Pow World, sure, Pow World was good for a while. Now, here's what is that? It, it, it's it's now. like ghetto Pokemon. Oh, ghetto. But 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 also realistic. It's ghetto realistic Pokemon. Oh. But it's too much of a grind, though. It really, it really is. And you know, Pokemon did try to sue them too. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. They're trying to claim like a uh, design infringement or something like that. So the characters yeah, like, very similar. Are they real close? They're they're close, but you know their name is different. Some of the colors and designs are different, but you can tell that they clearly had some inspirations off of Pokemon. Right. But which is still fine though. Did they win? I don't think so, cause the game's still going. <laughs> so. all over the world have earned their own Valor moments on PC. And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. Why am I holding a group of players? Because I don't pay me this. Target down. I don't like Valorant. Val uh. What is this? biggest joy of the ride so far and now we are ready and so so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms we hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next
Is this the Valorant? On console. Oh, so it was on console before? What the fuck is this guy doing? What the fuck? What? What is wrong with his face? That's the go to. I think that's just the biggest thing for me. You know, I'm running. Fuel? Is it a fuel? You get, you get fuel? <laughs> oh my god. He's going to be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slash Blade. And we've got your exclusive Who? first That crowd was dismal. They're like... That, 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 ca that card is dead. To your eternal fate. Who is this? Classic finishing. Why is he on him. They're trying to sell me to get more people in the chat. They can do that. But darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. Oh, don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm What's this? No one is totally worthless. But I that was his power move. With a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Is our big ad. What? Oh, no, 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 don't skip it. Don't skip it. Don't, don't skip this. What's going on? Who are you? Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fine. I drink. I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. Go on, get off. I am butt naked from the waist down. So get out of the f***ing bed, dude. Get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because. <laughs> is that Chris uh, Hemsworth? Uh, sword play, talking about your sword play. He is a bridge. He's one of the most oh, equitable yeah. people I've ever met. So great emotionally. Is that where he's Thor? I'm not a lawyer. I think so. Yeah. I just don't think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. Which is why you'll you'll have the job. Congratulations. Yeah. There's more where that came from. Oh, I I hope not. Guys, maybe everything is in a squad activity. That's what I gotta do right now. These clowns. You call this a squat? <laughs> Pathetic. Imposter. Oh, Duff Lungeon. Jinx. Jinx. Well, you, Jinx. You supposed to be a lumberjack? Want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Ay, ay, ay. We are never leaving here. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> We're never leaving you. Goodbye. <laughs> never cease to walk out. It's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cannibalizing himself. Yeah, I'm not right, trying to say that. Welcome <laughs> into the SGF stage, Monster Hunter series producer, Mr. Riozo Tujimono. Riozo san. Hi, thank you, Jen. Today is Monster Hunter Wilds. Trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August, and our first public hands-on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also. Did you pass the trailer or no? Thank no. You. I think you like this one.
Put this down. What? Put this one down. Put this one down? Yeah. Ah. Look what Elantra has, and what's. I got four more minutes. I gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go. Yeah, you wrote this one down? Yeah, I did. Okay. August. Now, during last year's PlayStation you skipped it. What did you do? Yeah, bro. From S game, wowed us all with I want to see this one. Fast combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game featuring all real gameplay. Here's our final game yes. of the show, Phantom Blade Zero. This one I, I'm excited for, too. This is all gameplay. You can like this. How many days do I have left? 42 or 41. The faceless is here! Don't. Don't go up there. I'll turn it back. Oh, oh yeah, put me down, bro. Put me down. Oh god damn, put me down. You're right to down. Oh shit. I'm gonna that strong ass baby arms and that shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nah, this is a fucking game, bro. <laughs> This is it. This is it. I want to play one first. <laughs> yeah. That looks. So does it come out? Old demo that Media will be playing this weekend. So you'll hear much more about that, and that's gonna do it for our Summer Game Fest live uh... show. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had Bro, such clap. an amazing time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned because Day of the Devs is coming up live right now on the stream featuring an hour of indie game reveals, including the next game from Cappy, and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking SummerGameFest.com for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. All right. That was... Um... What? Well, what are your thoughts on this everything that you've seen so far? I thought that it was uh It was good. It was good. Hey, now that ad's still playing. Yeah. It was good, it was good. Um Yeah. Yeah. It was good. That was good. What, what what were some of the trailers you hated the most? All the ones I skipped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, do you, do you, man. I don't remember. I don't remember the name of them. I, I, see, I, the ones I skipped for a reason because I'm not gonna remember them. I, I'm not. I'm gonna fuck. They're horrible. <laughs> They're horrible. They're horrible. Uh, they're just, yeah, the Lego. 
There you go. The Lego. Lego is horrible. Worst game ever. That I want to say Doom. A movie, he, a movie like Doom, but it's near a game. You should be. Let me sit around. Something's only a game. You can't translate the movie into a game like that. It's gonna be boring. Well, shit. So like, so for that one, it's it's not like the movie in a game. It's supposed to be an alternate timeline. You know, what if it's on separate thing? But yeah, like it, like what if he wasn't? What if Paul wasn't born? You know, instead of them having a son, need they had a daughter. You know, whatever. All right, do you wanna do you wanna take us out? Yeah, that's that's close us a night. I want to say to the chat, you guys have been amazing. Um, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm gonna make this a regular thing. This was this was dope. This was yeah, dope. Th- th- thank you all for watching. All right, thank you all for watching, guys. Peace out. Stay tuned for next month.